Hi, I'm William Spaniel. My lecture on the new TSA restrictions was popular, so today we're going to analyze how to stop terrorists at an airport. In this game, we're going to imagine a world similar to ours, where terrorists can attack with knives or explosives. Security, meanwhile, has time to screen passengers for metal or powder, but not both. The situation is grave because if security screens for the wrong item, the terrorists will win. And the terrorists have an advantage in that even if security guesses right, the screening method will fail a small percentage of the time, and the terrorists will be successful despite security's best efforts. So here we have a game matrix that represents these payoffs. And note that security will fail at screening for powder a little more often uh, than they will for screening for metal, just because that's a little harder to do. Other than that, this is a very basic zero-sum game. And with all zero-sum games, there are no pure strategy Nash equilibria. For example, metal knives can't be in equilibrium, because terrorists would want to switch to explosives. Metal explosives can't be in equilibrium, because security would want to switch to screening for powder. Powder explosives can't be in equilibrium, because the terrorists would want to switch back to knives. And powder knives can't be in equilibrium, because security would want to switch back to screening for metal. Nash's theorem guarantees that there is an equilibrium to this game, however, so it must be in mixed strategies. Seeing as I doubt any terrorists are watching this video right now, let's solve for what security should do. Recall that to solve for a mixed strategy, you must find the probability distribution that makes the other player indifferent between his pure strategies. So let's start by finding the terrorist expected utility for playing knives as a function of some mixed strategy of securities. Well, some percentage of the time, the terrorists are going to get negative 0.98. The rest of the time, they get 1. So here you have the utility of knives equals some mixed strategy times 1 negative 0.98 plus 1 minus that mixed strategy, that's the rest of the time, times 1. Now we do the same process for explosives using the same mixed strategy that security used in the previous slide. So some percentage of the time, the terrorists will get 1. And then the rest of the time, they'll get negative 0.95. So the utility of playing explosives equals the mixed strategy times 1 plus 1 minus that mixed strategy times negative 0.95. So some of the time they'll get 1 point, the terrorists, and the rest of the time they'll get negative 0.95. So now we have three equations with three unknowns, so the rules of algebra tell us that we can solve for our mixed strategy. We rework the equations to ignore the utilities and solely focus solely on solving for that mixed strategy, and then we distribute the numbers, and then we simplify by adding and subtracting, and then group the figures so that all instances of sigma appear on one side of the equation, and then finally we divide by the coefficient in front of sigma, which leaves us with 1.95 over 3.93. And we can actually simplify that to 63 over 131 by dividing by 3. And if you want to, you can go back and work those steps out by hand, by yourself, one by one, rather than me just going through them so quickly, but I'm just doing that here to save time. So, just a little more than half the time, security will be screening for knives, and the rest of the time they're going to screen for powder. And I'm also going to leave it up to you to solve for the terrorist mixed strategy, but suffice it to say that they will be using each time type of weapon roughly equal to half the time as well. Let's analyze what this actually means. Security in the United States tends to focus on stopping just one type of activity. What we see here is that such a strategy is absolutely ridiculous. Terrorists cue in onto this fact and simply adopt the strategy that beats it. It's analogous to always playing rock in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Once your opponent realizes that you're just playing rock, they switch to always playing paper, and you lose every time. Instead, we need to mix up what we do to stay safe. Confusing terrorists is the only way to beat them. 